Hello and welcome to the mid-year edition of Know Your Schools. I'm Mr. Williams, Principal, along with my co-host Dante Vacatoro. Hello. We are here to wish you mid-year greetings. And to everyone in the Nutley High School stakeholder community, we wish everybody a happy holidays and a peaceful, prosperous new year. Right, Dante? Absolutely. First off, we have uh, Guidance Director for the District, uh, Ms. Jill DeVilio, along with uh, Ms. Persis Mehta, to talk a little bit about some very important programming uh, that we'll be running in 2016 as soon as we get back. Uh, so I thought it was very important to hear uh, what's going on uh, in our uh, the wonderful programs our guidance department does. Um, so we will start uh, with uh, Ms. DeVilio. Uh, would like her to talk first off about uh, the, the January 7th program, Demystifying the College ex Experience. Ms. DeVilio, what could you tell us about that? Uh, first of all, um, this is almost the first step in the uh, junior conference process. Mm -hmm. uh, emails went out through Naviance explaining to students and parents that they should call their guidance counselor to set up a junior conference meeting. Dante remembers that yeah. from last year. Uh, this program, Demystifying the College Process, is really a prep for that. Okay. So if students and parents attend, they can get a basic understanding so they can go into their junior conference a little bit more prepared. So you focus primarily on the junior population? Should there be maybe sophomore attendance or do you think it's primarily uh, hyper-focused on juniors? It is definitely hyper-focused on juniors. Mm -hmm. However, just like any of our programs, freshmen, sophomores are more than welcome to come out. The more exposure, the more the they hear it, I think the better off, right, Ms. Meta, that yes. they, will, they will feel as, they, as time progresses for them. Right. I think the more information people have going through that process, the better. There's always uh, continual updates, and our guidance department does a fantastic job in keeping everyone involved uh, with the latest uh, college admission uh, processes. Um, and then on January 13th, we have the um, eighth grade uh, scheduling uh, night for eighth grade parents, so maybe you want to address that to anybody listening in the audience? Yes, correct. Uh, right now, we are actually in the process of preparing for scheduling. Program of Studies has been approved. There's some minor tweaks going on. Uh, however, this introduces the incoming freshmen to uh, the Nutley High School Program of Studies, uh, what we do in the high school to support them, and they also get to meet with the individual coordinators, and they get to kind of go through the building, different stations, and hear from all the coordinators about their course offer offerings. Helps them understand the sequence of things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they understand, you know, if they come in in freshman year in this math class, where they can go with that. Uh, as a science student, you know, what prerequisites may get you to an AP Bio course. Right. And I, I guess on a final note, Ms. DeVilio, uh, to the, um, the students out there in, in Nutley High School land, uh, what do you tell them right now in the December of their whatever year they're in as they're, they're preparing to schedule for their, their next coming year? Currently, they really should look at the current program studies because mm -hmm. there are a few minor changes, but overall... And that's on the guidance website? That's on the guidance website. Um, it's also in the document library in Naviance. Um, again, very minor changes, but to really understand what they have now, what mm -hmm. classes do they have that they're enjoying, uh, is there something else that they'd like to explore, and then really to keep the lines of communication open with their school counselor and, you know, ask some questions, to talk to teachers. You know, if you have an interest in macro, go talk to Mr. Linfante. You know, if you're exploring engineering, well, check out some of the CTE classes, like the IT Essentials or Practical Electricities, because those classes might kind of open your eyes a little bit to, uh, you know, fields of engineering, things like that. So, so they should be proactive yes. in asking a lot of questions. Yeah, to teachers, to counselors. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, um, great stuff as always. And now a couple words from uh, Mrs. Mehta. Uh, Ms. Mehta has been running um, the SAT and the testing program, and we were preparing to do a um, practice, SAT. practice session. You want to talk a little bit about that, uh, where that's going with the SAT, the new sure. changes, yes. and a lot of information out there we want sure. to get out to students and parents. Okay, well, the College Board is changing this format of the SAT, and the new SAT, the very first chance to take it, is in March. So what we've decided for those juniors and then eventually sophomores and freshmen who want to take the new SAT, C2 Education, which is a test preparation company, is going to come in during the January SAT on Saturday the 23rd. It's going to start at 9 o'clock, and it's a free opportunity to take a practice SAT for the new SAT exam. Follow-up to that, on February 3rd, on the night of February 3rd, we'll be having an AP and an SAT night. 
So this is also for inter people interested both in the middle school and the high school level who are interested in both the new SAT and the AP program. We'll start out with the AP, talk about the AP program like we do every year around this time, and then also C2 Education will come in once again to talk a little bit about the new SAT and have an information night. So um, when the students take the test, will they be getting feedback on, on how they did or? Yes, they'll be getting feedback and also that's, they call it a score back night okay. on February 3rd and they'll be giving the scores back and kind of explaining, um, you know, the different sections of the test and how they did, how you can improve, um, and so on. Yep. And we'll be getting that information out uh, via Naviance and, and the school website, but uh, Correct. to Ms. Meta's point, it's a free, free opportunity. opportunity. So um, we encourage all students uh, to, to partake in that and to get the feedback that they uh, really should be getting from the test. Um, thank you both for, for coming today. And as always, we can get all the information from the guidance website, correct? All Correct, right. through Naviance, and it will be on the main high school website as well. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Okay, up next, we will now like to talk to uh, participants in the Laramie Project from the fall season. Welcome back to Know Your Schools, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dante Vacatora, and now we're joined by Maggie Spector-Williams. She directed? Uh, assistant directed. Assistant directed the uh, fall play, the Laramie Project. Thank you for joining us. How did that come to be? Because I know we didn't have a fall play in Nutley High School for years. Yeah, um, so a friend of mine, Nadia Lyle, and I um, came up with the idea of doing a fall play because we've always had a musical and not everyone likes to sing or dance. So we kind of came up with the idea last year and we told Mr. Valleys about it and he pretty much just said, go to the board, bring it to them. So we built this idea up. We got um, a survey, uh, not survey, but like uh, how many people would sign. We got 50 signatures and they said that they would all participate and we brought it to the board and then it became what it was. <laughs> like it, um, it became the show and uh, Nadia and I stayed on top of it being assistant director and stage manager. That's great, it was a long process obviously. You had a lot of support for that and it, it took a while to actually come to fruition, right? Like choosing what play it was, actually um, rehearsing things like that. Well, when we originally went to the board, we got, of course, the question, like, where are we getting the money from? And so, but Mr. Lasvik was very supportive because he's very much into the arts. So he just said, like, we'll find it for you. Don't worry. Then we met, um, when we came back from school this year, we met um, Mr. Guerreri, who was the director. And he, we talked with him and we were like, all right, we got to pick a show. And we picked a show with him. And that didn't take that long. We pretty much just talked about it. And we knew we wanted to do something kind of controversial, something new to Nutley and expose Nutley to it. And we came up with this one because my cousin did it a few years ago in Bloomfield, and I remembered it, and I had seen it. So I was like, I know this great show. We found it, and um, we, yeah, we chose that one. <laughs> and now, like, you and Nadia are, are fantastic students, too. And now you're juggling, and you're, in, you're a junior, and junior is always supposed to be the toughest year of them all. Yeah. How did you juggle that at the start of the the year? Um, well, thankfully it was only about a month, the entire process, because we got started a little bit late, but that's, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, it was really, really stressful, and a lot of it came out on Nadia and I because we ran a majority of it. So um, we would um, have homework to do, and we'd be doing it during rehearsals, but we'd also be helping people like figure out their characters, and um, most of the time, like sometimes we'd come late, we'd come from dance, uh, dance class, and like, We'd be coming to rehearsal late, but it's okay. And um, it was really stressful, and there was a lot of yelling on my part. <laughs> but um, the, I mean, the cast was awesome. They were just as stressed as we are, we were. But um, it, I mean, it came together. <laughs> uh, taking the things that you learned, you know, directing and producing the show. How do you go forward from this? Um. I go forward with this I don't know because mostly I'm on stage this was the first time I was ever behind stage um, and I actually had like a real role as in being assistant director but I think mostly I, just from this experience I've gained such a respect for the people behind the scenes because now I know that they're dealing with so much nonsense <laughs> for putting on the show and so I'm just able to go into a different production, whether I'm on stage or I'm off stage, with just this new idea and this new background of like what actually is going on, what it takes to put up this production, and why everyone's, hand need, everyone's hands needs to be on deck in order to get the entire thing going. And now you're moving forward towards the spring musical launch. Yes. You just plug that. Um, well, the musical cast list just came out a few days ago uh, for Thoroughly Modern Millie, and um, Nadia and I were both casted as leads, so that's really exciting. And it is in March, uh, March 6th, 7th, and 8th. 
And yeah, we're really excited to be back on stage. Great. Well, thank you for your time. Larry Moon Project was fantastic. Thank you. Returning next on New York Schools, we'll get a breakdown of the fall sports season. Until then, we'll fade to black. And welcome back. Well, Dante, we're now as we're taping into the beginning of um, uh, what will probably be a, su a successful winter season sports-wise. I um, thought we'd spend some time talking about uh, the award-winning uh, fall sports season we had um, uh, this past uh, fall. Uh, tonight we give out uh, many awards to many different participants. And uh, what's your take on it? Um, all of our fall sports teams performed very well this year. Uh, just football alone, we have 17 athletes earning some sort of award. Fantastic. On, for the first team, all conference, on offense, seniors Craig Merkel, Anthony Candido, August Mistardo, and Nick Senator all earned first team honors. On the defensive side, the two Devons, Devin White, Devin Merritt, Brian Hewitt, and Nick Miller. Second team offense, we have junior Mark Charles and Nick Lovato and seniors Dan Shagna and Dominic Mazika. On the defensive side, all juniors here, Sammy Coppola, Hunter Lechthaler, and Justin Bavona, which says something for our football team going forward. Sure. The cross-country team had their fair share of uh, award winners. All-county first team, Luke Michaels, Jimmy Quinn, Eric Vogler, and Ellie McCreesh. Second team, uh, Gerard Dimayuga. Uh, Matt De Silva, Anthony Castronova, Chloe Jelly, and Shauna Lewis, and honorable mentions to Darren Ramirez, Danielle Menino, and Amanda Zhang. Soccer team. The, boy, the girls' soccer team had two uh, first team all conference players, Zoe Steck and Jen Callahan. Second team, Bella Gonshevsky and Lauren Holden, and honorable mentions to Sarah Roselli and Darby Fisher. For the boys' team, Jeffrey Bevere and Billy Montgomery both earned. First team or second team honors. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And honorable mentions go out to Anthony De Blasio and Jack Contini. The girls' tennis team had two second team all conference uh, players, Gracie Arens and Nikita Jane. And honorable mention is Syra Somne. And the volleyball team second team honors to Jess Robinson and Sarah McHenry. And honorable mentions to Sam Etreveria and Emily Varga. So, wow, definitely reflective of a great season. Um, Absolutely. And we're looking forward to giving out those awards. Uh, what's your take on uh, as we progress into winter? I think we're going to be uh, probably doing pretty well Our on winter this, sports uh, most areas, good, correct? Yeah. The basketball team just came off their first win against Christ the King. Wrestling team's doing well. The bowling team, always great. Mm -hmm. And the Enjoy. girls' basketball team. Girls' uh, basketball we team, have, a player, uh, absolutely. High hopes. Yeah. Possible uh, breaking of the uh, Nutley High School scoring record, I, th For I think. For Blair, definitely. Potential, yeah. right? P potential is definitely there. Okay, well, that's all we have for today, and uh, we will definitely be reporting back uh, at some point in February or March uh, with uh, updated results of our winter uh, sports and other things going on. Uh, for Dante Vacatoro, uh, I thank you uh, for tuning in, and again, we wish everyone a happy holiday season, and here's to a great 2016. Thank you. And Dante and I are